here we are today in the patient care lab and what you'll see is our beds are right next to me here and we simulate what a room would look like in a hospital setting. We work with students with doing vital signs transferring patients and we work with them with just gen general overall bedside ma manners. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that the beds are made very nicely with what some people would call military corners and that they're without wrinkles. In a hospital type setting you have the bed as the focal point in the room so it needs to look nice. People want to come to the hospitals and see that they're a home away from home so we're trying to convert them to look as home-like as possible even though it's still a hospital. When you're working with healthcare professionals I think there's a culture of healthcare. There's certain things that we do that's different than other professions and Sometimes people think we're a little strange, but I don't. I think we're bubbly, we're happy people, and we're constantly working in a fast-paced environment, working with patients and working in private situations. One thing you'll hear in health uh, healthcare is HIPAA. So many times people will misspell it, and they'll spell it as, abbreviated as H-I-P-P-A, and that is incorrect. It's actually H-I-P-A-A, and it stands for Health Insur Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. And I know it doesn't always say privacy, but that's the big portion that came from it. Some of the things that came out of the Health Care Act is that you have the portability of your health insurance when you transfer jobs. Previously, before you couldn't always start with the new health insurance plan if you were maybe had a pre-existing condition. Maybe you were expecting a baby and it made it hard for you to want to transfer jobs at that point in time. Um, other things were maybe they had a health condition that prevented them from transferring on to a new insurance company and they didn't want to take them on because they knew it was going to be expensive. They weren't going to make any money off of them. Well now that's not allowed. The other thing is that when we are billing out for our health insurance, we have a standardized coding system that we use. We don't get to give all of your health information to your insurance provider. And the last thing that's very important about this law is that what happens in a healthcare facility stays in a healthcare facility. So once you leave this nice hospital setting, you can't just go home and tell your family members everything about your day, because it just doesn't work that way. Sometimes you'll probably have the coolest patient or some cool, neat, interesting disease, and mm -mm, can't go home and tell them about it. We can't just always bring video cameras in a healthcare setting because it's private. Uh, one of the things that um, I see people do is going out at maybe a nurse's station or a common area and discussing what's happening with their patients. You can consult with other healthcare professionals. The problem is that you need to do it in a private setting. And also realize that what you say, your voice can carry into the patient's room. If you're outside, like in, a, in this type of setting here, it would be similar when we pull all the curtains to something you would probably see in an ER suite. And therefore, when you're at that nurse's station or where the charts are, the curtains don't block the noise. Um, we want to be also thinking.